Every business from time to time will be required to manage in a period of economic adversity. These times can be unsettling for our colleagues whose jobs, livelihoods or aspirations may be on the line. Thankfully for most management teams, they are only required to manage this once or twice in a 10 year period, so that lessons and experiences are easily lost from the corporate memory. This video aims to provide insights from business leaders to help you in your planning for when you need to manage such a period of change. Delivery of a change cannot be done by the leadership of an organisation alone. Managers who understand the change, who can focus and involve their people, give them the scope to contribute and support them with information and advice, play a vital role in the successful delivery of any change. When a line manager has to take a group of people through a process of uncertainty, um, the easy thing to do is one-way communication. Um, that's, I guess, the minimum. Um, the important thing is actually understanding where your people are in that process. One of the things we encouraged our people to do was get out and about in amongst the teams, understand the level of concern, understand whether there were pockets of frustration or anxiety, and actually be confident enough to go and work with those people, talk to them, explain to them what's going on. Uh, these are the, the important things that a line manager has to do when you're going through this level of uncertainty. But what we did this time was that every line manager put out a consistent message and he never answered a question, is where? So if he couldn't answer a question, we, he took the question away and he sought the right answer. Plus, we had regular communications whether or not there was anything to say. Every Thursday we had a communication. The line manager got his staff together and his, and his employees together and he went through the communication for the week. The fact that we went through a discussion with them beforehand meant that despite the fact that they were feeling uneasy about what was their future going to be, there was a degree of enthusiasm for what the solution was and that this was going to enable us to provide better services, deal with some of the key risks that we faced. Uh, uh, and, and therefore there was enthusiasm and now we've put it in place you know the teams are working really well they're, they're forging very good partnerships with schools health police etc and as a, and in consequence uh, those staff are feeling I think much more engaged uh, than they were prior even to the changes having to make take place and there's a degree of enthusiasm and energy going into that work which um, wasn't there before. So it's, it, we've actually, as a result of it, uh, created uh, improvements in human productivity uh, despite the fact that we've had to reduce the size of the organisation as a whole. I do lots of roadshows, as many as I can, but with an organisation with sort of 48,000 people in it, it's really quite difficult to get to talk to everyone face to face. So I'm also reliant on my own strategic management team and their managers to communicate these messages out as best we can. Um, communication is a real challenge in an organisation of that size because of the fact that you can broadcast on lots of different channels but if people aren't tuned in uh, then they don't hear what you want them to hear. So we it's constantly have to work at different ways. I think Another critical thing for me is the upskilling of the managers who've got to land the restructure and deal with the change. And I think the more that the employer invests in upskilling managers, coping with people's questions and uncertainty, um, the better the process is, is actually handled. So I think that's a, for me, that's a big thing we've seen over the last three years is, is that programmes run better when the managers, time is given to the managers who've actually got to deal with it. I guess one of my top tips is, is follow up with information. Uh, don't assume that people aren't going to have a whole huge range of questions, not just about the immediate um, impact of an announcement, um, i.e. not just thinking about well, what jobs might I be able to consider as alternatives, but, but much further down the line, questions about well, what happens if I don't find another job, you know, how will my redundancy be paid? How much notice am I entitled to? People want answers to everything. Um, and I don't think it's a bad idea to actually spend time preparing packs of information so that people can then find out the answers or um, 
gain information as they're going through a process and have it all there available. Some of the key skills are obvious things like listening, I mean, and that is not easy. This is listening with an intent to understand rather than listening because you got to look like you're listening. Um, understanding what people are actually saying, what lies behind uh, their questions or their thoughts is a very important skill. Uh, that degree of empathy with the, uh, with the folk going through some difficult times is a, is a real skill. We have learned from this section that people deal best with change when they are confident they have all the information available. The team leader is the lens through which the individual views the organisation. Senior leaders must ensure their managers are equipped to support the workforce with effective listening skills and consistency of information and recognise the difficulties of being both impacted by a change and having to support others through a change. How confident are you that your managers are equipped and ready to cope with the challenges ahead? In a time of economic adversity, the principles of engagement remain the same. Helping your teams understand the future of your business. Ensuring your leaders engage through the process. Listening to your employees' voice. And ensuring your actions align with your stated values. However, the stakes can be much higher. We've heard how the actions of businesses are remembered some 20 years in the future. We hope this video helps you in planning the change in your business.